What's up fam? Welcome back to the Project Maximus channel. My name is Max and this is where you can follow my journey back into music. Eight. Eight years after I quit pursuing my musical dreams. In today's video, I'm going to react to Kennedy Walsh's more recent song. I had a bunch of comments requesting that I do this, so I have no idea how this is going to play out, like what exactly it is I'm reacting to, but I'm sure it's going to be fun. I'll start now with a quick update on where I am in my musical comeback journey. I have been practicing piano pretty consistently now, about 30 minutes twice a week, and violin probably like 15 minutes twice a week. I'd say I'm around 20% of the way back to my highest proficiency on both instruments. I still have not started practicing guitar or writing music, but those will both come soon, I think. I hope. Oh, and the big news from the past month is that I was awarded the gold card by the Taiwan Ministry of Culture. The gold card is the most desirable work permit in Taiwan and it's intended for only very special and distinguished foreign talents. Uh, there have been fewer than 200 recipients in arts and culture over the past almost three and a half years and I'm not sure how I qualified but I do have a video where I talk all about my application in detail. Anyway, that's the progress that I've made. The gold card is a big step for my family in our move to Taiwan and for me establishing music connections and a network in Asia. So I'm very excited about that. All right, back to today's video. It looks like Kennedy and her brother have done it again. They've recorded a new original song and new music video for that song. This is just from the end of last year. So I'm excited to just jump right in. All right, so here we go. something very fun as you can tell by the title we're going to be making a song and a music video if you followed me for a while now you probably would have seen this video where me and Brandon made a song but I don't really know if it counts as a song because it, it wasn't really a song and you could hear the clicks of the computer in the background <laughs> We obviously have a very low budget. We have a low budget. Oh, but we upgraded the mic. You just interrupted me. The mic's upgraded. We are also... So, um, coming out strong, again with the aesthetics and the matching outfits. I mean, you can't really um, touch this girl when it comes to the video making. Very inexperienced. I said that a lot in the last we're like, song. We're like the you Walmart. interrupted me again. You're like the Walmart version always, of Billie Eilish. You always interrupt me in my videos. So today I have a full song written out. Yes, it's depressing. What did you expect? I'm going for a very sad, dreamy, I could cry to this song, add the song to your crying playlist type of vibe. So luckily Brandon hasn't used this program. Logic X Pro. Brandon hasn't used this program since She's our last video. If you keep talking over me, I will put a piece of tape over your mouth. So I guess I need to. Sing you the song. I turn on the. <laughs> she hasn't even like told me what the fucking song is. I have no idea what I'm doing. Because this part is so awkward. Can I just read it first? It's even worse when you read it. I'm nervous for them. I'm nervous for them right now. Okay, so it starts off Notes. with. I'm sorry if I said some things that I didn't mean. I'm getting older and getting scared. It sometimes makes me scream. Oh, hello. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I want it to be like. I want it to be like finger picking, like. Ding. Let's just find out what the notes are first. <laughs> the most important part is doing it in the right key so that I can sing at this key. I don't know what key that is, but... Neither, neither, neither. <laughs> we know nothing about music. We then spent the next, like, 20 minutes figuring out which chords we wanted to use and which ones sounded right. It was very important that we got it all in the correct key because I can only sing in very certain keys. Since we were only using a guitar as the instrumental, this was actually pretty easy and we figured it out pretty quick. They were just very basic chords, which is lucky for us that it just ended up working out like that. But this is what we ended up with. Let's try one more time, ready? If I said some things that I didn't mean Getting older and getting scared Sometimes makes me scream Oh, how I would like to die But only sometimes, only sometimes it's just G, E, A, A minor. Luckily, I took G, T, guitar in high school. And um, this style, this very mellow style, really fits her voice well. So, so this is promising. 
Um, I took guitar too. You took standard guitar. I took GT. And I got an A. Wow, that was really quick. <laughs> it was we so need to much bigger than that. the picking pattern is, though. Okay. Three, I want it to be like really quick, like. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure it out. I like that. Oh, I like that. I, I think it also should go when it goes. Mm. And then we need some fucking hardcore metal rock drums. No, this like is fucking a, this like, is a <laughs> sad playlist <laughs> song. But don't get me wrong, although some things came easy, some things did not. And we did have our fair share of, what's a word for argument that's like not a big deal, like little arguments. Bickering? Squabbles. <laughs> no, it, it's cold out. I think she can make a uh, song about her experience writing songs with her brother because that would be that would be very emo but also meta meta emo oh so you, you, you just wait so long in between going to the next one okay so, because like, I don't it's know a slow song <laughs> that first note is just so awkwardly long it's really nice well you're switching like in the middle so like it sounds right because if you switch at the proper beat. time it's not awkward if you switch at the proper time yeah, but I'm not going to be singing at the same time as you're playing. No, you're going to sing first, and then I'm going to play over it. Wouldn't that make more sense for you to play first? No. <laughs> we need one of those puffy things to put on it. Because that's why that's why it sounds like it's going... Five, six, seven, eight. That's the one you come in on. It goes... Then you're off a beat. He looks really artsy. Those headphones, I thought those were a scarf at first, and he's just being very, like you know, French, artsy, smartsy, whatever. But anyway, um, I like where they're going so far. That sounds, what are you, what are you no, shaking your head at? because it sounds terrible. How does that sound terrible? It Be sounds weird if I come in, in right at the no. beat. And at last, we began recording. I'm sorry if I said some things that... I think it's too fast. Oh, how I would like to die, but only sometimes, only sometimes. Then we switched seats and Brandon went into the recording chair and I was in the computer chair so that Brandon could record the guitar parts. But for some reason, the microphone was being weird and we spent like 30 minutes trying to figure out why it wasn't actually recording. Just happened upon several little problems along the way, but we managed to figure it out. I'm a little curious if they recorded any instruments before she did the vocals, because if she just did that acapella over nothing, that's... Um, that's strange, I think, and impressive. Um, normally you'd have some kind of backing track, even if it's not the actual track you're going to use in the recording, you have some kind of backing track so she can sing over that. And then you put in the real, um, instrumentals. And then oftentimes they'll go back and do real vocals again. So that first round was just like scratch vocals. But anyway, getting ahead of myself, but if she was just singing with nothing but like a click, uh, you know, that would, that's tough. That's really tough. I still don't hear it. Did it record? Why is it coming out of one side again? Mm. Like my hand feels like it's lagging out. <laughs> the main issue. Yeah, that happens. Um, like, first of all, he's actually pretty good at, you know, she, he, she's not giving him enough credit, or at least I was under the impression that he, he didn't have the guitar skills that he has, because um, that, that finger picking sounded pretty good, aside from, like, being tense and getting tired very quickly and getting stiff. Um, it's pretty good. But, uh, quite honestly, it's, like, as good as anything I could do back when I was, like, playing guitar all the time. Issue is the guitar, but besides that, it would sound really fucking good. Which is why this video that was supposed to take a few days ended up taking a few weeks. These parts were filmed a few weeks ago. Brandon ended up ordering a new guitar, a new microphone, a whole computer, not just for this video, but for other videos, and basically turned a room in his house into a studio. So basically what we did was we recorded a very rough version of the guitar parts, and I recorded the vocals just so we could get a 
basic idea of this song down and could film the music video. But we basically ended up having to re-record the entire thing because he got a new guitar that sounds a lot better than this one. And along with that, re-recorded the vocals because we got a new microphone. But I did get a lot of footage from that first day of recording, so here's some random clips. It's cold out, so I'll stay inside. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You're, One, you're counting two, off from the three, metronome. Four. One. <laughs> Which brings us to now. We couldn't hear the metronome, but she was right. He was not staying in time. Um, <laughs> her singing was really good there. It has been about three weeks since that last clip. So remember how I literally just said that Brandon got a new guitar, a new microphone, made a whole studio so that we could make a really, really good version of the song. Well, we re-recorded it and it sounded wrong. So we had to re-re-record it with the older, shittier equipment. Going into this, I was very confident we would make a really good song, but this video has humbled us. <laughs> Making music is not easy when you literally have no idea what you're doing. Also, I am not a professional singer. I wanted it to take a few days. It took three weeks, and I'm still not completely happy with what we got. I am still proud of it. I feel like it, it sounds like a real song, but there's a lot that could be like cleaned up, fixed, but neither of us know how to do that. I'm tired of working on this song. I'm tired of listening to it. And you know when you watch something or like listen to something so much that you convince yourself it's horrible and the worst thing you've ever done? That's what's happened. So at this point, I honestly- They can go both ways easily. Um, uh, you can listen to something so much that you start to like it a lot. Um, particularly when there's a lot of imperfections in the recording um, and you get used to liking those imperfections, which sometimes is a good thing. Um, in my opinion, from my experience, usually a bad thing, but um, but yeah, that's what art and music is all about. It, it's it's interesting. So yeah, it can go uh, it can go both ways. Is my point. Um, you can definitely also get sick of something if you hear it a lot. Honestly, don't even know if the song is good <laughs> or if the music video is good. Just kidding. I know it's like good. <laughs> I know it's good. I wouldn't be posting it if I didn't think it was good. I don't know. I set a very high standard for myself and I'm scared of people thinking anything that I make is bad, which is a part of life, but what can you do? I'm essentially just trying to lower your guys' expectations as much as I possibly can so that when you do watch and listen to this, your expectations will be very low because that's better for me. Before I show you, just want to say about the music video. The music video was literally me and Brandon, a camera and a gimbal, which is the thing that you use to stabilize the camera, alone in some random park in 30 degree weather. <laughs> we were freezing. We spent like two hours filming this and then the gimbal was dying and my toes were numb so we decided to just stop and we didn't really get en enough footage not as much as I would have liked to make the music video what I really had in mind but <laughs> take it. she totally has the perfectionist syndrome that I used to have and um, yeah it, she sounds exactly the way I would talk you know ten years ago so um, I'm excited to see this video because I know that they crush videography and you know, they know what they're doing there. So even though she's lowering our expectations and the fact that it's just two of them shooting with really basic equipment, I'm sure the video is going to knock it out of the park. And I'm optimistic about the song too. Taking all of that into account, please don't judge me too harshly. We did the best we could. Without further ado, here's the song. It's called I'm Fine. I'm sorry if I said some things that I didn't mean. I'm getting older, getting scared, sometimes makes me scream. Oh, how I would like to die, but only sometimes, only sometimes. Yesterday all I would do was laugh and talk and smile Now I'm sad, stuck in my room and I've been here a while Sometimes it feels hard to breathe when I overthink everything It's cold out, so I'll stay Oh, 
Some initial reactions. Well, well that's good. Um, I'm just gonna start from the ending because it was such a surprise and I loved it. Um, I, I love that it was a, a bit unusual and a bit uh, uh, just t t takes you um, unexpectedly, just ends abruptly. Um, Oh, man, I'm blanking, but there, there's a few songs that it reminds me of in that way. Um, and I think those are so cool, especially because I was actually thinking that it was starting to get, it was kind of setting itself up to, to be a little bit long. And um, the way it just ended like that um, was perfect. I, uh, I really like the lyrics. Um, I can't pretend that I caught every single bit of that song, but, um, but I think generally the lyrics were, were really... Uh, well placed, well thought, and um, uh, you know, it, evocative. It was it was cool. I, I liked it uh, a lot. I, nothing off the bat that I would that you know that that made me uncomfortable. Um, the way the first song maybe did a little bit. Um, the guy, you know, Brandon's guitar playing is is pretty good. You know, there's some rough parts to it but it worked as a song it worked um, I think he was doing the bass line with that same guitar and sometimes the way it overlapped was a little bit um, it wasn't complimentary as much as I would like so I mean that's one one thing that maybe he could try to try to figure out a better way to balance that um, if he's gonna use just guitars the same guitar um, and her, her vocals are great. Uh, I was, when they, before they, the actual final product, I was thinking this was gonna go sort of in a plain white tees kind of direction. Uh, really uh, easily digestible melody and sort of pop acoustic sound. Um, but instead it went more like, uh, I don't know if this is the best comparison, but I'm, in my head, I'm going way back to like Elliot Smith or something like that. I mean, it's not that dark, but it uh, it captured me in a similar way, um, which I have to say is outside my element personally of of playing and of writing. And so that's one reason why I like that is because it's something different from what I would normally do. Um, but seriously, this is great. This is so good as a song. It's so good. The video, um, I get what she's saying about wanting more uh, footage to work with. I think um, I think it, it could have used a little more dynamic um, visual. Uh, what she what they had was good, but I think just adding in a few different shots would be better. And then some of the shots, I think the lighting uh, with the shadows didn't look quite right. And so if they had more footage, they could have done more with it. But I mean, I, yeah, I don't want to go down that road of, 
of the visuals because that's not really my area of expertise or experience but <laughs> but this is good this is good on like another level they totally raised the bar i'm impressed well there it was. <laughs> I really still like the way this video turned out. I hope you guys liked it. Maybe some of you relate a little bit to the lyrics. There it is. We made a song and a music video. We put a lot of work into it. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. And Happy New Year! If you don't have a New Year kiss, New Year's kiss, I'll be your New Year's kiss. Just kiss, kiss this part of the video at midnight. There you go. I was your New Year's kiss. Oh my God. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> that was the weakest bye I've ever done. I don't care. I'm not redoing it. Ah, oh, man. Parting thoughts. That, I'm not trying to kiss ass at all. Like, I, I wasn't planning to. I'm a nice guy, and so I'm, I would never think to be mean, but I didn't think I was gonna kiss ass either, and, and wow, that was really good. <laughs> like last time, I said it was really good with the caveat that they'd never done it before, and it was, it was like they didn't know music, and it was all done in 24 hours, but this was actually really good, period. No disclaimer. I'd be proud if I wrote that song and recorded that. I'd be proud. I'd be very proud of it, so that was a good job. Now I'm thinking I want to do something like that. Yeah, if I come back to it, I'm hoping that something that I would do would measure up to that. That was, that was really good, really impressive.